stampers, it's Kim Vogel with the Basement Bunch Stampers and I'm here for another terrific Tuesday video. Today I'm going to share with you a really pretty card that I created using some of the dies that coordinate with a celebration stamp set. The dies that I'm using today is called the Sending Flowers and it coordinates with the Sending You Thoughts stamp set. Now this stamp set you can get for free with a $50 order through the end of March so don't delay. Get your orders submitted as soon as possible. And then you can purchase, as part of that $50 order, the coordinating dies that go with it. Um, these are called the Sending Flowers. And I wanna show you the awesome dies that come with this. So you get this really big one right here, which is the focal point for my card today. And I'm gonna show you how that cuts out with the Big Shot. It's really, really awesome. And then you get a couple of actual little dies um, for the flowers. So you can see all those really pretty flowers that I have in here. I simply cut those out um, using these dies so you can get four at a time. And I chose to focus in on using some um, of the scraps of that I, colors that I thought would look really nice. Um, I used some of the Melon Mambo. I used some of the Costa Cabana. I used Daffodil Delight and finally Purple Posy. So those are the colors that I used to cut out the different little flowers. And those cut out separately. And then the um, dies also come with a couple of uh, layering uh, shapes to put your sentiment on, which I here put congratulations on my card. So let's go ahead and get started and I will share with you how I uh, made this card. Now I will tell you that those dies sell for $27 um, and are a great deal because this focal point is absolutely stunning. So I started with a piece of basic black cardstock. This is cut five and a half by eight and a half and this becomes the base of our card today. And then I have a piece of Whisper White that is cut five and a quarter by four, and that is going to be the mat that I am going to be adhering down to my card. Now, if you're not following me yet on Facebook, I encourage you to search for Kim Vogel's Basement Bunch Stampers. I do Facebook Lives every Thursday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I'd love to have you be part of my group and my page. I go live in my page, and in my group, I post tons of different inspiration um, projects and different things. So make sure you search for me and join both my um, group and like my page. Um, then I cut a piece of Granny Apple Green cardstock. Now this is cut four by four and I ran this die through on the Big Shot. Okay, it fits perfectly on this four by four piece. And then all you're gonna do is this piece kind of, you can see it kind of laid inside of there. This you're gonna kind of pick out very carefully. It does come out really good, so there was no issues there. And I went ahead and I adhered this onto my card and I moved it to the, to the top a little bit more so that I had room to put that sentiment there on the bottom if you see my sample there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some adhesive on this and I'm just going to adhere this down to my card about here. And since it's um, four by four, it's gonna go all the way to the edge of that white. Now these are not glued down right now. You can see that those kind of stick up, um, but I did glue them down after I adhered my flowers. So I have some flowers here that I've cut out in advance. So what I did is I cut each one of those dies out with each of those four colors. And from here, you're just going to adhere these little flowers onto the card um, in the different spots that you would like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this great big purple posy um, one up here at the top. And you're just gonna kinda keep on working around that way, adding flowers as you go. So I'm only gonna add a few of these cause I don't think um, you need to sit here and watch me do all of them. But you kinda get the idea of how you add these flowers. And then you have some tulips. So I'm gonna add a daffodil tulip here as well. And you have different sizes. So this, um, you can tell that this daffodil um, goes a little bit bigger, whereas this one that I have with my melon mambo is smaller, so it's probably designed for one of these smaller tulips. So it's pretty easy to figure out where they go. And then, like I said, I'm not gonna finish all of it because you kind of get the idea. But what I did after I had all of those filled in is I brought in my glue dots because I did want to glue down. I just kind of picked one up with my fingernail here and I did go underneath these flowers and glue them down because I wanted them, that should have gone under further, but you get the idea. I wanted them to not be like, free falling as their this card moves. So I just went underneath of it, put a glue dot on it and adhered it down, okay? So I did that to pretty much all of them. There's a couple that I don't think I did it with, but they weren't really coming up too much. So I wasn't too concerned about that. Um, I then went ahead and cut out the, the, one of the shapes using basic black. And this I'm gonna adhere to my card using Stampin' Dimensionals. 
So you can see this card is a lot of fun to, to make. Now you could also do this as a silhouette card where you incorporate, maybe you do this with um, Whisper White and incorporate like a black behind it or something and make it more of a silhouette. You could do all kinds of different things with this awesome um, die. I absolutely love it. And then I cut a piece of one half inch by three piece of Whisper White. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stamp on my congratulations. Hopefully I don't stamp it on backwards because I didn't put my sticker on this yet. And I'm just gonna go ahead and, and I'm gonna stamp right in the middle of this. And then I'm gonna adhere that onto my um, piece down here. You're gonna wanna let it dry really good. Sometimes I get too fast and I end up smearing these. Um, and you're just gonna line this up in here. You're gonna have a little bit of a black border around it, which is exactly what you want. Yeah, cute. And then I top this card off by adding some pearls to the centers of the flowers. So you can see right here, you're gonna to wanna to add some pearls as well. And then finally, I used some of the black glitter ribbon and I just made a bow with this to add to the top to kind of bring in my black a little bit more and just to kind of give it a little bit more pizzazz. And I love the bow at the top. So let me just bring this, make it a little bit smaller. You have to work with this organdy ribbon just a little bit to be able to get it the way you want it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna trim my tails off of this. And then I adhered this with some glue dots to the top of my card. And I put a couple glue dots and I'm gonna adhere it up there. And there you have a really quick and simple card that I created using the Sending Flowers dies. Like I said, you could easily, you wouldn't have to incorporate all these colors. You could easily do this more of a, of, as a silhouette and leave them all just the one color that they are. Um, there's lots of ideas out there with this die, but I really encourage you to consider adding it to your stamping collection um, because this right here is absolutely gorgeous. And it's really a quick and easy way to make a quick card um, in a hurry with and let the die do the work for you. So I hope that you've enjoyed this awesome card that I've created for you today. I hope that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Find me on Facebook. Um, there's also lots more links in the description of my video. Um, so if you click below where it says show more, I think is what it says, you'll be able to find ways to follow me on social media regarding um, Pinterest, subscribing to my YouTube channel, my blog, all kinds of awesome things because I do provide lots of different things including um, online classes to go, things like that. So thank you so very much for stopping today. I hope that you've enjoyed this project and I look forward to seeing you back here next week. Have a great day everyone. Bye.